Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Mood. Welcome to another episode of Talk Tarot. Um, for this episode, we're gonna talk about the Four of Wands. So I was going through my pile of tarot cards here and I was like, do I wanna pick randomly? Or, you know, so I was kind of like sifting through the cards and the Four of Wands really jumped out at me. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do one about this. So if you own a tarot deck, um, catch, catch, grab, <laughs> grab your tarot deck, um, pull out the four of wands so you have something to look at while we're talking about it in this video. Get yourself your journal or um, a, a notepad or in a piece of paper, a pen, whatever you, whatever you want to do. You don't even have to take notes if you don't want to. But <laughs> if you're learning the tarot and you want to take some notes, we're going to be talking about the four of wands. Okay, so <clears throat> now, of course, before I get into this, these are, this is my perspective of the tarot, okay? So I'm not doing this to say this is absolutely how you're supposed to read the tarot or this is how you're supposed to um, go about it. This is my way. This is the way I learned. This is the way I interpret this card and all the other cards that I talk about in this series. Um, but take what you like and leave everything else behind because um, my way is doesn't have to be your way, but I'm going to share what I like and what I know about the card based on my own experiences. <laughs> I just felt like I needed to like say that. So, <laughs> so four of wands. Um, first off, the wands is of the fire suit. So wands equals fire and fire energy is all consuming and it is fiery. It is passionate. It is motivated. It is creative. It is, um, and it also eats everything. It consumes, it destroys it, all of the above. Um, and the four to me is a sign of stability. So anytime the four of wands pops up to me, it is a symbol of stability or a symbol of grounding or foundation. Um, and so you wouldn't like, and, and a good way to remember that is when you have a house, you have four walls, right? <laughs> you have, when you have a table, you have four legs for the most part, um, to keep it stable on all four corners. So that's how I remember the four of wands. Um, and so in this card, this is the Rider weight version. Um, in the Rider weight Rider weight version, you have like what appears to be a community. There's two individuals in celebration you have like this little canopy of roses here which to me symbolizes some sort of celebration um oftentimes the four of wands is about marriage commitment it's about um a celebration of some sort so it could be any kind of celebration a graduation a birthday um like i said a, a marriage or maybe you're renewing vows or an anniversary <laughs> whatever it's a celebration card um, but if you're looking at it in terms of commitment, it's usually looked at as the card of marriage. Um, and so let's talk about it in terms of ourself first, okay? So if you were to pull the four of wands for yourself, um, let's say you're doing like an energy checkup reading or you were just like pulling cards to say, where am I at right now or what do I need to know about myself? And you pull the four of wands. This could probably tell you um, that you are in the need of, or you are grounded. If you don't feel grounded, then obviously this would say you need to be more grounded. Um, this could tell you that you are in a stable environment or maybe you're not in a stable environment. So you take it either which way. If you were to pull this in reverse, then you can look at it as you know the opposite of being stable. So, but I'm just gonna give like kind of both ways to think of it. Um, ugh, I'm gonna cross my leg. Um, both ways to think of it. So that it doesn't kind of confuse you guys. Um, so if I were to pull four of wands for myself, I would say, okay, this is telling me that, you know, things need to be more stable or I, you know, or I am stable. How am I feeling? Asking myself, you know, health wise, how do I feel? Um, this could be an indication of something major happening coming up soon. It could be an indication of some sort of something to celebrate or maybe a milestone popping up. Um, for this, for myself, it could be, like I said, if I'm not feeling grounded, this could be a card that would give me that reminder 
maybe I'm like all over the place, you know, and I'm not balanced, you know, that could be another thing. I'm not balanced and I'm just kind of like all over the place and I don't have a routine, I don't have a schedule. So again, if I were to pull the four of wands, <coughs> to me right now, <laughs> this would tell me that I am in need of having more of a schedule, a set schedule to keep myself occupied, to keep myself um, in somewhat of a routine with my business to keep me busy and to keep me um, to like complete, you know, projects and whatnot. Um, so that kind of thing. I also just heard school. So some, maybe for some of you guys, the four of wands can indicate, you know, if you're contemplating going back to school or whatnot, this could be like the beginning of that, that kind of thing. Now let's talk about like, oh, sorry, I'm moving around here. I'm trying to get comfortable. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you're in a relationship, if you're reading for love and you pull the four of wands, the four of wands can indicate maybe there's a need for balance, a need for more um, stability in the relationship. It can mean maybe you, you're taking your relationship to the next step. Maybe you're contemplating moving in together. Maybe you're contemplating actually or discussing topics of marriage or, um, you know, commitment, that kind of thing. Um, this could be, you know, simple as, you know, um, a wedding invitation coming into the midst, you know, like maybe you're invited to a friend's wedding or whatever. <laughs> that's like very like, you know, detailed, but sometimes, you know, sometimes that stuff will pop up in a reading. You never know. Um... If you're seeing like the four of wands, maybe I, because I'm looking at this almost as a reminder to treasure those special dates, you know, like, okay, so for me, I've been with my husband for 12 years. It's really easy for us to fall into a, a, a mode of being so comfortable with our relationship that we, you know, we still celebrate our anniversary, but it's not something big and major like it used to be when we were like, a year into it or two years into it you know so I'm kind of seeing this as a reminder to keep things special okay so honor those special anniversaries or like those special dates or those commitments you know so I'm kind of seeing it as that <clears throat> um I'm thinking like I'm trying to think as I'm like doing this <laughs> if you're single and you pull the four of wands um, this might show a sign of you needing stability in your in your life. Maybe you are, if you're pulling for like, what kind of a mate do I need? Maybe this is a homebody. Maybe this is somebody who is stable in their job and stable in their home life. Someone who already owns a house. Somebody who um, has their life together, you know? Maybe it's like a, a sign for you that that's kind of the energy of a significant other that you need more of. You don't need the parties and all of that. You need more so of someone who's more stable. Um, the, now, if you pull it in reverse, this could mean things might be falling apart in the relationship. So if you're in a relationship, it could be things aren't, you know, on the up and up. Things are kind of negative. Maybe you guys are arguing too much. There's not as much stability going on there. Maybe there's a the 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 discussion of divorce going on, you know, the four of wands in reverse can be that. It could be the ending of a relationship or a marriage. Um, it could be separation. It doesn't have to be as drastic as divorce, but maybe it's simply separating. Um, I just feel like it, when it comes in reverse, it's a need for, like it's it's kind of like a little nine one one thing for for the love life. It's it's like identifying why is the relationship going downhill, and what can you do to restable it, or is it worth it? You know. Okay, so I just heard fertilize. <laughs> so I feel like spirit is kind of saying like maybe the four of wands could be a symbol of needing for you to be putting the nutrients to keep your relationship healthy. So like I was talking about with remembering, you know, important dates like anniversaries or, you know, going on a fun little outing to the first place you guys met or, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Especially if you're working on spicing up your, your marriage or spicing up your relationship, um, you know, getting cute like that. And then, of course, like I say, um, if you're doing time frames, it's a four. So it could be the month of 
April. It could be four weeks, four days, four months, four years. Um, am I getting anything else? Hmm, not really. Now, if we're looking at this in terms of career or money, um, four of wands could be having a stable career or looking for something stable or something stable is on the way. Um, if you get it in reverse, obviously it could, it could show that there's no balance in your current job or maybe your finances are all over the place and you need to focus on getting everything organized and learning how to save your money or how to better, you know, how to better spend your money. Um, it could show the job if it comes up in a negative, it could come up or in the reverse. I mean, it could kind of say maybe you're not enjoying your job as much as you used to or you're looking for something else. And maybe in four months, four, four days to four weeks to four months, <laughs> you could find something. Um, and then also, obviously, you're going to be pulling more cards. It's not just one card. So I'm just kind of like being basic right now. But um there's a lot that you could do with this, with just one card, but <laughs> always pull more. You know what I mean? Um, for money, it could be, it could also show pro what's promising ahead. You know what I mean? It could show putting, you know, your money towards something good, something positive, something that's going to be exciting and for you to, to celebrate over. It could be, um, you know, putting money, putting your money towards a wedding or saving towards a wedding day. Um, it's also commitment. I just heard commitment, but when you're thinking about it with like work, like your work relationships, I feel like this is kind of like putting in more work to be more connected with your bosses and your coworkers, you know, um, putting in more effort. I guess is how I would read the four of wands for jobs, putting in more effort to make sure that everybody's happy, that everything is good. Cause the four of wands, it's a card to be happy about. It's a celebration. It is everyone's coming together. Um, and so unless you're pulling it in the negative then it's, that's a different story. But to me, it's like, if you're pulling this for work, it's not always a bad thing. It's just kind of like, maybe it's just a gentle reminder to work a little bit harder, you know, make your connections network that kind of thing yes what else could we look at this as <laughs> I'm trying to like think I want to make sure because I always cover like love myself and money spirituality wise like spiritually for the four of wands I would just say making sure you're connected you're grounded working with the root chakra you know working with um grounding meditations before you start your day, you know, making sure that you're taking care of yourself, you're eating the right foods, you are um, getting enough sun time, making sure that you're actually, you know, devoting some time to have fun, you know, the four of wands is like, have some fun to enjoy your life, but also be making sure you're organized and balanced also in your responsibilities, but also set some time aside to have some fun. You know, making plans on the weekend. This could be <laughs> this could be that card that's like a reminder to, you know, go out with some friends, get together, have some fun. Um to me, this is like a weekend card. I see it as a weekend card more so as like, you know, the midweek, Monday morning kind of a card. I see this as like this is you getting out and having fun kind of a card. Um but for spirituality, I would say major, like it's a major root chakra card. It's a major like paying attention to are you grounded and how do you feel how stable do you feel how was your home life is your house cleansed is your room cleansed are you cleansed um how do you feel like how does your health feel you know your health wise are you eating right are you are you eating are you eating too much should you like let go of certain foods that are not making you feel good that kind of thing <laughs> I guess it's like for the most part you guys that's probably like everything that I can think of right now for the four of wands if you come up with any other things please put them in the comments section because I know um I have quite a few of you who do watch my videos but you may not always leave comments but maybe you saw something else in the four of wands put your input down there because other people who watch this video whether it's like today or four years down the line 
if they read your comment and you you put like how else you see the four of wands and readings it, it helps this is all of us coming together and discussing the tarot so I hope that you guys, you know, you got something out of this video. I hope that this kind of helped you. Like I said, I just kind of pulled the card out of random. <laughs> I really like the four of wands. Um, let, let's, so let's get a little personal real quick. Um, so to me, the four of wands for me right now, and I think this is why this card stood out, is because um, I moved into my first house um, back in the, on the 23rd of December, so the day before Christmas. Um, so I moved into my first house with my husband and for the last, I'm going on, I'm going to be hitting two months on the 23rd of February. So I'm going on two months <laughs> and it's still new, you know, and I'm still getting comfortable. I'm getting comfortable in my new town. I'm getting comfortable with my commute to work. I'm getting comfortable with being in my house with no dogs and no parents and no noise no chaos. It's quiet up here. It's quiet in my neighborhood, which is amazing. It's quiet in my house because I don't have dogs. I just have Luna. And if my husband's at work, it's just me, you know? So I'm getting used to all of that stuff because I'm used to having a full house. So that was probably one of the hardest things aside from being in a new town because I moved away from a town that I grew up in since I was five. <laughs> so I knew that town like the back of my hand. I didn't have to think. I just drove. I knew exactly where I was going. I knew people. I grew up with people out there. So to move away from that was hard and it was and I'm not saying I didn't move around the corner like <laughs> my husband and I moved about 55 miles away like we're I'm a good hour away from my family and it was hard because I don't know this area I don't know the community I don't know where places are so it was new to me and I had a really hard time I will admit the first month most of December and a good, maybe the first two weeks of January, I was major anxiety, you guys. <laughs> my anxiety was crazy. And I was also battling my depression. It was coming back because I felt like a fish out of water. And I felt like nervous and I felt homesick. And I, I didn't want to feel that way because this was my dream house. I manifested this house. It has everything that I wanted. And so I was so heartbroken that I was feeling that way, but I realized that's normal. There's so many other people who told me that they were the feeling the same way that have moved major distances, even further than me, even outside of their own country. So they were telling me they were reaching out when I put a cry for help on Instagram. They were reaching out and telling me that what I was experiencing is normal. <laughs> and I still experience it. I still have, you know, I still have my days where... I am lonely or I feel lonely or I feel nervous to be home by myself or, you know, or I miss certain things, places, um, things that made me feel like I was at home. I miss it. But more so than feeling that way, I've actually been very happy. I've been so blessed with this beautiful house and I am happy, but I will say <laughs> I was a four of wands in reversed when I first moved and something that should have been so exciting and happy was not as exciting and happy right off the bat. Now I'm starting to like, I'm like here, I'm like here. <laughs> so I feel like I've been getting better and I know I will continue to get better with time and just more of a routine, but that's exactly what the four of wands was like kind of saying to me and maybe like by me sharing that little bit with you kind of helps some of you who are watching this who may be feeling like you resonate with the four of wands um where you something that you should be celebrating <laughs> doesn't feel as exciting because you're you're dealing with so much anxiety and homesickness so I have been getting better and I do I know I will continue to get better um it's just gonna take time but I am so blessed, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful and thankful. But um, I will say that, yeah, I totally, I was in a four of wands in reversed. <laughs> so when I was looking for the deck, through the deck um, for what card I wanted to talk about this talk tarot for this video, um, 
that four of wands jumped out at me and I was like, okay, it's time. I think it's time I share my little story. I think it's time that we talk about what the four of wands means, especially because I know I'm not the only one who struggles with anxiety. And um, I think a lot of you guys, you know, you don't know my whole story. You don't know me, me, me. <laughs> Um, you only know bits and pieces of me and you only know like the version of me that I put out there for you guys. But I feel like every once in a while I like to kind of open up a little bit more to get you to be more familiar with who I am. And, um, and I think a lot of you guys, you see my videos or maybe you'll see my Instagram posts and obviously I'm putting my best foot forward 90% of the time. But there is that 10% where I'm falling apart or I am in crippling anxiety where I'm afraid to look out my own window um, or I am going through a depression moment. You know, I do struggle with depression and I had really bad depression years ago where I wanted to compromise my life. Like I, it was, I was in a dark place. Um, I am not the <laughs> I come off as like really cheery and like positive and peppy whatever but I want you guys to know that there is like another side to me um and just I want you guys to know that I'm like just like you <laughs> I just want you to know that so I feel like this card was a really good one to talk about I feel like this one will open up a lot of dialogue so I hope if you guys want to share you know, your own experiences, your own four of wands experiences, or just how you interpret the card in your own readings, leave comments below. Let's start a dialogue. Let's talk about this. Um, and I don't know. I'm just excited. I like doing these videos and I just hope that this helps you with your tarot journey. Um, so anyways, before the video gets way too long, thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch up another day and do another talk tarot where I discuss another deck or another tarot deck or la, 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 la. <laughs> another tarot card. Oh my gosh. Tarot decks. Cause I have a whole pile of tarot decks right here, like right there. <laughs> so that was from another video, but anyways, um, we'll catch catch up later and we'll talk about another card and we'll see what we talk about and we'll see what comes through. I like to just, you know, share with you guys and have that little experience. So thanks you guys for tuning in. Love you. And I'll talk to you soon.